welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Well, today we're doing a how to Windows tip. This is a video on creating an install disk basically on a USB drive. So let's just say you have a small USB thumb drive and you want to have Windows 7 installed from that. On rt7lite.com, they have this free utility. It's a configuration tool that allows you to basically create this setup install disk from a USB drive as long as you have the original Windows 7 CD or DVD I should say. So I went ahead and downloaded this uh, utility, okay, this tool, installed it. Straightforward, it's small in size and uh, basically what it's going to do is ask for the Windows 7 install disk, the original one. It'll make an image of it on your hard drive and then basically copy it back onto a USB thumb drive and set that USB thumb drive up so that way it can be basically bootable and used as a regular installation disk okay and uh, this comes in very handy if you're um, installing Windows 7 over and over now of course you will need a valid serial number okay so you will need a legal copy of that and basically setting this up is straightforward you just tell it where the uh, disk is, you tell it the type of Windows 7 uh, disk that you have, it copies that disk onto your hard drive, okay, so I have Windows 7 Ultimate, so it takes the Windows 7 DVD that I have and it copies it onto my hard drive, creates the necessary information for that image, and then basically then later on, once it's done that, it puts it back onto your USB drive. Now you will need at least a five to you know gig USB drive, so I would definitely recommend that you you use an eight gig um, USB stick at least. Okay, so that's what I'm using in this case. So once it's done doing its uh, creation of the image, basically based on your original DVD, then it allows you to customize what you want to be put in there, right? So I want it to be an ISO bootable image obviously so I can put it on my USB stick I want to customize it I want to be able to tweak the image because there's a lot of stuff that comes on the Windows 7 installation disk that I don't want right I don't want it to be installed so you can actually customize ahead of time what options what components you want installed and uh, what things you want completely removed from the installation so it'll save some space some disk space so that's the beauty about this um, uh, tool as well. It allows you to tweak and customize exactly what you want. So it's gone ahead, copied the uh, the CD. I told it exactly where it is. If you have any service packs uh, that you've downloaded separately that are in MUS format, so the .MUS format, you can also include those and slipstream them in there so that way they're included. Otherwise, you can just install the uh, service packs afterwards as, as usual. Um, integrated with the Windows 7 installation you can specify what things you want to appear or not appear as part of the standard installation right so like I said to save disk space um, unnecessary options can be checked off and removed okay or enabled or disabled so um, this is something that you would have to go through slowly obviously and check through every single option if you don't care and you just want to create a regular image then you can just skip this right you don't need to uh, do any of this but if you're interested and you want to um, be able to select specifically of all the different types of stuff that uh, comes with Windows 7 well this has it right this has the option for that obviously you'll have to put in the product key if you want to skip the product key and have it ask for it later and activate itself later you can also control that from here okay otherwise you can automatically put everything in there and that way it installs and doesn't ask you for anything so basically it's a uh, you can do an unattended installation just uh, let it uh, do everything by itself and um, well what else do we have here obviously you can specify you know the region the time zone all of that ahead of time and um, and that's really about it right other than that it's uh, pretty much uh, straightforward there once you've gone and you've customized everything then you tell it what do you want to do with this image in my case I want to create a USB bootable uh, setup disk okay so then that's the uh, create mode that it has you can tell it has other options in there as well and then um, just uh, let it uh, do its thing right after you selected 
the uh, USB stick and you've specified okay this is the uh, drive it's my F drive in this case click on USB and uh, it's gonna say okay we're gonna format it and set it up Are you okay with that sure let it do its thing okay and it's pretty quick you know I mean it's just basically formatting it setting up the USB drive with the appropriate uh, bootable, inf bootable information and then um, copying the uh, image over so once it's done you're all set then you can actually open up uh, Windows Explorer for example uh, exit out of here and um, take a look at that USB stick here it is my F drive and you can see that it has all the uh, information relating to making it a bootable USB stick plus it has the Windows setup installation disk on there like I mentioned you need about four gigs okay in this case uh, four gigs was um, more than enough to uh, set this up but of course you could add more programs and stuff like that in there and you might need more space so great little utility I hope you enjoyed this video comment below and thank you for watching